Hey everybody, welcome to Round the Twist, episode 372. Two? I was on the wrong page. It's January 20th, 2020. And yeah, uh, I'm a day late. I got taken down by some kind of 24 hour bug yesterday. Uh, but I'm back. It is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday today, so I am off of work, even though it's a Monday, because our center is closed. So, uh, first things first, what I have on my needles uh, in the last two weeks. I got a little more work done on the stained glass blanket, take two. Let me get to this side. Ooh, that's a longer hair from when I had more hair. So, I'm adding slowly onto this side. And last time I had this one, this one that I don't know, something holly. Uh, this one that was the cookie next door. This one that I think is Nayame or something like that. And then I've added three more scents. Uh, this was one afternoon, I picked it up and added three more hexagons onto it. So star sapphire, which the color is still weird. Like skin tone is fine, this blue is not. There's so much variation. It's not better close. It's better back here. And then, don't ask me this one. I put it in my mother-in-law's shawl, which, oh my gosh, it has very, what? That is so weird. It looks like a solid eggplant color. And I put it in my uh, color affection that I did for my mother-in-law. And this makes it look variegated. It is totally not. It is very much a solid color. And then this one that is variegated, this is Ruby Slippers. So all of these are scraps. The blanket pattern itself is the Juggling Hexes pattern by Wendy Harbaugh. It's free over on Ravelry. Uh, all of the colors, the many, many colors that I have are scraps of socks that rock, lightweight and medium weight that either is from my own stash my mother's stash or has been very generously given to me by a few of the viewers. So thank you guys so much if you've given me scraps. Yay! The blanket grows. Uh, the black is, I don't, oh I do have a thing, is the Loopy U Solid Series, which is their 100% Superwash Merino, and this is the colorway black. Highly imaginative name there, but it is black. Uh, I am using an F hook to add the hexes on, which is a 3.75 millimeter hook. Most of the centers that I did are also done with the F hook. However, a lot of the centers coming up are ones that were done by my friend Sarah, either last summer or this fall. Last summer. Two summers ago, oh my gosh, when she came and was staying with us and nannying and taking care of us in general. Um, so she has a tighter gauge than I do with crochet. So she, to match my gauge, she went up to a G hook, which I'm kind of assuming is a four millimeter hook. But I'm using the F hook, the 3.75 millimeter, and I am liking what I'm getting. Slowly, slowly adding, I think there's like 17 or 18 hexes along the long side of these, depending on if it's a row that sticks out or not. It just depends. So, working on that, this whole thing. It's big enough for one person to snuggle under. Two, not really, not yet. Second thing that I worked on, and I'll be honest, I only worked on it today because I realized I hadn't touched it in two weeks. So I took it with me to the playground when I took the kids out of the house is Sarah's Joker and the Thief Shawl, which is the pattern is The Joker and the Thief by Melanie Berg. The yarn is Fiber Optic. It is their cashmere, which is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% super, uh, 10 nylon. And I'm using the color Sterling for the background color. And then Renaissance in a six pack from them for all of the colors in between. So. I'm very sorry, this is like part way through a row of the crossed stitches. So I really haven't made any progress on this. Absolutely none. See, there's my progress marker that I had last time. I'd never moved it up, so I have no idea where I was. I think I was about 
four garter ridges into the purple, but for right now, I'm going to put it Let's see, let's hang it right about there. So we know for next time. So I am, when we went to the playground, it was like 35 degrees out. Why I thought that would be warm enough for me to knit, I don't know. I have no idea. I was living in some dream world. So I pulled this out with my US4 3.5 millimeter needles and start working, and I made it across one row. Yep, one row. And that's it. That's all that I made it across before I realized, oh my gosh, my hands are entirely too cold to knit. Take it back, I made it that far. Three cross stitches across. So right now, let me hold the whole thing up for you, hang on. Oh, you'd think I'd never podcasted before. I can't juggle anything. I can't... Oy, it's a day. Oh, for the love of Pete. Good enough. So, I started down here. This end, doing the cross stitches with the colors. I still have all those lovely ends to weave in. Then I started working my way through the progression. And I made it through. I started reversing back. I reversed back again. When I get down to that lightest, uh, this one, the lightest burgundy, that is where I will do, uh, will flip flop again for the other end of the shawl. So I'm getting there. This is my friend Sarah's Christmas present. <laughs> oh, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's always happening. I'm always behind on. Ooh, what did I just do? I don't even know what I just did, but I've got. There. Um, yeah, I'm so behind. So very behind, but it'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Coffee makes all things better, right? Uh, yeah, I told you a US 4 3.5 millimeter. Yeah, that's it. I've made it across a row and a bit in two weeks. Sad, but that's going to be my nap time knitting. Well, I'll well, the kids are down. That's going to be my nap time knitting. So that's the plan. I don't even know what I'm doing. My, I was out on the playground and I don't know what happened with my hair. I had it done this morning. It looked fine. It looked fine before I came down here and then I just completely messed up. Okay. We're not gonna worry about my hair. Third thing, something new. Uh, I'm calling it the Amazonian, co Amazonian co-pilot. Uh, once again, this year I did Secret Santa at work and let uh, the woman I got is our head administrative assistant for the center. She's wonderful. And she's been admiring my co-pilot. My, If you look over at my Ravelry page, it's the project entitled 10 is my co-pilot, which I did three elk seasons ago, I think. The one where we stayed at the Rock House. And everyone got sick. And I was basically being a maid and a cook the whole time. That one. So... Knitting that co-pilot kept me sane. And I love the colors. I still need to make the matching set that I've been planning to go with it. But I wear that cowl a lot because it's something lightweight. I can throw on over my scrubs. It keeps me warm. It's amazing how something um, or just around your neck keeps you so warm. It's so nice. Um, but I've had multiple people at the center try to steal it. So when I got um, this particular individual for Secret Santa, I knew I didn't have time. I knew I didn't have time to knit her anything. So instead, I kind of ferreted around and found out what her favorite colors were that she likes to wear the most. And I pulled four skeins of Volmiza out of my stash. And she chose, where'd it go? I had it, there it is. Again, falling apart. That's supremely helpful, right? So it's deep stash Volmiza, because I don't think she even uses these anymore. Um, it's her Volmiza Pure, the 100% Superwash Merino. And it says we're different, which means it wasn't quite up to the standards for whatever that particular color was. However, that label is slapped over another label, and you can't see it on here. 
but I can read through the label and the colorway is Amazonas. So hence the Amazonian co-pilot. This is the yarn. Ooh, that's actually pretty close. So it's got black, not just, uh, black and teal and pops of lime green. And she said this will go with so much stuff for her. So the uh, pattern is Co-Pilot by Dominique Trad. It is a free pattern over on Ravelry. And I love it, it's mindless. It's so mindless and it's great. Uh, I told you the Volmizer Pure in the weird different version of Amazonas, and I'm using a US 6, which is a four millimeter needle. Then uh, I am seven yarn overs into the first netting section. So that you can kind of see. It's just garter stitch and yarn over knit two together. I'm not giving away the secret sauce because it's a free pattern. It's an awesome pattern. I'm This is the fourth one, I think, that I've knit, and I still love it. I still love it because it's so mindless and potato chippy, and it, you just keep going round and round in a circle. I did have a slight problem. I twisted the cast on. <laughs> it's 260 stitches. Of course I twisted the cast on. However, I was able to save it. I didn't have to rip it out because you wouldn't even be able to find it unless you were looking for it. So basically, on my first round, as I was going around, I caught that I had twisted it, and I just did one of these, <laughs> where I just tucked the needle under, and that took the, the twist out of it somehow. I don't know. It's not twisted anymore. And if it is, she'll never know. No one tell her. <laughs> so I'm working on that. That, oh, I didn't tell you. The, what they're writing. Oh, I'll deal with it next week. I don't even know where I got this bag. I think my mom got it for me. Maybe at the last zombie knit apocalypse that she went to. Um, which I love it. It's got this awesome fabric of like know your cuts of lamb. Ending is the new yoga and lean mean knitting machine. Happiness is homemade. When I learned how to knit, I forgot how to cook. That's totally not true, but Knitting is the new yoga. Knit happens. It's fun, and it's got a red lining to it. It has a zippered pocket on the front. It's big, too. I could probably fit a kid's sweater in worth of stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add one of my Progress Keepers from Progress Keepers by Melia Bella. I couldn't resist these. They're little, this is around Christmas time, they're little like glass ball ornaments. And they have little star confetti and I got a rainbow one and then like a bluey purple one. And I love them, they make me happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that clipped on here so we know roughly, roughly where I was at. Ish. Ish. I love progress keepers because when it feels like I am making no progress, I kind of look at it and I find the progress keeper and go, oh, well tonight when I thought I did nothing, I just did like an inch and a half. Huh. It helps. It helps me keep from losing my mind thinking I'm like someone's unknitting my work at night. So, uh, I have no pokey things. I have nothing on my wheel. I want stuff on my wheel, I just, there's not enough hours in the day. Um, and then I have one FO of the week that I can't show you because it's already been gifted, but that is the icing swirl hat that I made for the twins kindergarten teacher to go with the encompass that I made for her. So the icing swirl hat, uh, the pattern is icing swirl hat by Isolde Teague. It's available over on Ravelry. I think it's like five or six bucks. I got it years ago. Um, it is uh, Misty Alpaca, actually, I'll look it up. I don't even know. I don't want to give you guys bad information here. So the icing swirl is, it's in uh, Whimsical Little Knits, or you can buy it individual, which is available in ebook, one of nine patterns for nine, nine pounds, nine great British pounds, 
or you can get the individual pattern for the icing swirl hat for 450 Great British Pounds, about $6.13. So, uh, it's just a slouchy hat. It's got a series of yarn overs that swirl around it. Uh, you start at the crown and then work your way down. It has a really interesting finish to it. And because it's on chunky yarn that I have a ton of, I still have a ton of back in there, even though I used four skeins for this particular gift. Um, Misty Alpaca Chunky in color 701. It's blue-green. It's like a teal. Uh, and a US 10, six millimeter needle, it, this hat whipped up. I started it late on the 4th of January and I finished it on the 6th. And honestly, if I wouldn't have had small people to take care of, if I wouldn't have had a husband and a job to do, I probably could have knocked it out in a day. If I would have just been able to sit and knit I'm going to say it's like a four-hour hat because I knit it over two days and then the third day I blocked it over a balloon. And we already got a thank you note back from their teacher and she loves it and can't wait to wear it and today it's 50 degrees and I gave her chunky alpaca knit accessories. <sighs> timing. I'm in, it, Impeccable timing, I know. So... That's it. Short show this week, which is great. I am, if you follow the show on YouTube, uh, last week's show is available, or last week's, the last show, is available on YouTube, it, and I put the link in the Ravelry group and everywhere. Um, I'm still working on compressing it to get it up over on iTunes or whatever Apple's platform is now, the equivalent of iTunes. It's being disseminated somewhere, but I have to get it compressed down, and I'm on the fifth, fourth or fifth compression. I, I don't come down here that often, so I forget that, oh yeah, that compression's probably done. I should go do another one. It's okay. Otherwise, very sundry wise, I don't really have anything else to tell you. Uh, life is life. Work is work. The family, I think, is finally over whatever illness, sickness thing is. I started baking again. I broke out Mary Berry's baking Bible last night and did her Swiss roll, which the cake part's pretty flavorless because there's no flavoring in it. So I think next time I try it, I'll throw some almond or vanilla extract in, um, just a tish. And she's also very chintzy with the jam. Like she says four tablespoons should cover a nine by 13 cake. <laughs> no, not even close. Um, I used an entire jar <laughs> of uh, Smucker's something, something, strawberry, mango, jam. I put the entire jar of it on there. It's yummy. <laughs> but I whipped that up in about 20 minutes last night, maybe. Most of that was waiting for the eggs and sugar to whip up together. But anyway, I'm going to go. The kids are napping and I want to get some stuff done around the house while they're napping. That, Or maybe I'll nap myself. I don't know. I'm going to drink coffee and then nap. That's the best way to power nap, right? Yes, yes it is. All right, I'll let you guys go. Have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon. Happy knitting.